In this video, we carry on learning about data structures and particularly about the difference between static and dynamic data structures. OK, so you're aware that there's a large number of data structures you need to learn for the exam, including arrays, lists, tuples, graphs, trees and more. All these data structures fall into one of two types. They are either static or dynamic. Static data structures are organisations or collection of data in memory that are fixed in size. So in other words, the maximum size of the data structure needs to be known in advance. When the programmer is writing the program, it's at that point where they need, they need to decide and declare in program code how big that data structure will need to be. Memory, therefore, cannot be reallocated once the program is running. An array is an example of a static data structure. We can see here some code in Visual Basic and C Sharp, and the actual line of code declare at the point where the array is written in the code how big that data structure is going to be. When the program is therefore run, the data structure is created with this fixed size. It doesn't matter how much of this data structure actually ends up getting filled, it will always be this size and it can't grow or shrink while the program is running. So opposite to this we have the dynamic data structure. These are data structures whose organisation or collection of data in memory is flexible, in other words it can grow and shrink. Now these allow a programmer to control exactly how much memory will be used. Unused memory can be allocated or deallocated while the program is running as needed. And linked lists, an example of a dynamic data structure. OK, so there's a bit of basics. So just a quick recap then. Dynamic data structures. Memory is allocated to the data as required when the program is running. Static. Memory is allocated when the program is written and thus is fixed in size. I'd like you to pause the video for a minute and come up with at least one advantage for dynamic data structures and two for static, and come up with two disadvantages for dynamic data structures and one for static. OK, how did you do? Pause the video again and read through some of these answers. It's important you understand that there are advantages and disadvantages to both dynamic and static data structures, as a higher level of understanding in the exam will require you to know when and where it is appropriate to use what type of data structure and why.